So this solution that we have then is the conditional format list. And we can see here that we have hello all, something simple here. In column D, starting in D2, I have a list of all 50 states of America. And in column A to A2, I have a list of all the states I've visited. So basically all I wanted to do is everything that's in this column A here is all the things that he's visited. And anything that's in column D, like we can see here, is all the states that are currently in America. I'll say currently. So we select column A to start with, up to format and down to conditional format, and then we go across. So we can see at this point then that we're working our way down, we need a range. So what we're going to do is just delete that out, click the first one at D2, and then we're going to press Control Shift and Down, and that will just select all of them. As it's not empty, you can see that it's turned all of them green, but we're going to input a custom formula at this point. So now to do it as we would do normally, we're going to put the input of equals and count if. So we want to count if something is in column D, then how would we do that? So because we're going to be selecting multiple values that we're going to reference again, we're going to use the index as well. We're in that as our first argument and we're going to make this absolute value. So we're going to put the dollar sign at the beginning just so that we can say absolute values of column A and absolute values um, of kind of column D when we get to that point. So there we have the column A2 to A as we've left it open ended so that more and more stairs can be visited and as it adds then it will just move them along. So we'll put comma for the next argument then as we're now going to use this as the absolute reference for the D2. So we want the reference from D2 downwards at this point and that will close off the bracket there and that should get us nicely there. So we can see that the formatting at the minute is the default green that we have here. But we're going to turn that to zero, uh, so none, so and we're going to put a strike through. So as we've worked down them and visited them, it crosses them off and eventually we'll be able to see what we have left. So now you can see that as we add in the states within the column A, it will slowly mark them off and you can see that it's already marked up Iowa and Kansas and Maine as well there. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and hopefully see you again soon.